Welcome to Fish Du Jour. I'm your host, Antonio Maleka. Today I'm super excited. We're gonna think outside the box here with our fish creation. We're going to PEI. We have unbelievable stuffed lobster agnolotti. This is homemade pasta. We stuffed it with some beautiful lobster meat. And of course the main event we have is your halibut. Here's the thing, I'm gonna be honest. I went out fishing last weekend. and I was hoping to impress Ange and Pete. I went pickerel fishing. That's why we're doing halibut today. I actually had to go to the market. I had to purchase this fish because I got skunked. Absolutely skunked. I'm not happy about it. I was hoping to impress today, guys. But I'll tell you what, I'm still going to impress. It's going to be fun. Let's get right to it. So let's go over the ingredients today. We have garlic, heavy cream. You're, you're going to need heavy cream for this dish. So if you're on a diet, Please don't try this at home. Fresh Parmesan cheese. Can't have pasta without cheese, I'm Italian. Imagine coming to the table without cheese and there's pasta, we ain't eating. Heirloom cherry tomatoes. We got different types of tomatoes, different colors. It's gonna look amazing. The main event right here. These are these homemade lobster stuffed agnolotis. Last thing, but not least, is the halibut. Again, we got fresh PEI halibut to go with the lobster. We're gonna put it all together. Let's get fired up. First thing I want to do is get this pan really, really hot. It's really important. What we're going to do, again, a little bit of olive oil right into the pan. As that's going, we can start working. First thing, garlic. Just squash that down, simple with your knife. Then, chop. You want to mince that garlic nice and fine into the pan, just like so. Next, heirloom cherry tomatoes. Again, all different types of tomatoes. We're gonna cut it up. Let's get these sizzling with the garlic. You're gonna start here in that pan going any second. Now, once you get this thing going here, now you gotta remember I'm at home in my basement, so the fire alarm goes off. It's not my fault. We're just trying to get fired up down here. Getting all of these tomatoes in with the garlic, really essential, you gotta work quick. You could always have this stuff prepared on the side, so that way all you're doing is adding everything into the dish. Obviously, just give that a nice little mix. You're gonna see everything come together here. The garlic, the tomatoes. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the heat very, very important. You don't want to burn that garlic, okay? Once you get your tomatoes sweating off with the garlic, it's an indication to lower the heat. Now, we're gonna let this simmer for a little bit and let's talk about our next ingredient. We have Sambuca. Now, we're gonna add a little bit of Sambuca. What this is, is it's an Italian liqueur. It's quite sweet. It's got a little bit of, uh, I guess, a licorice kind of flavor. I'll tell you what, when you combine this with the tomatoes, the garlic, with the fish, it's going to be unbelievable. We're not going to put this in just yet, but while this is going, I just wanted to inform you exactly what we're using here. Now, we got this browning up nice, let's start with our fish. What I want to do here, very simple, I don't want to cut this paper thin, we actually want to enjoy this fish in the dish. Just like so. Drop it right in. Again, what's happening here is these tomatoes are reducing down. The garlic is cooking. We're adding the fish. And all you want to do is sort of brown it off. Now, if you overcook this fish, what's going to happen is it's gonna be quite rubbery, and you don't want that. You want it to be nice and tender. So all we're doing is quickly browning it off. The aroma that's coming out of here is unbelievable. My kids are upstairs doing their homeschooling. They're probably wondering what the heck's going on down here. Well, we're having a party. You can see the tomatoes are starting to wilt. I can smell the halibut. Unbelievable. I think it's about that time we set this place on fire, shall we? Now, don't try this at home if you're not comfortable with flames. Now, 
Obviously, liqueur, vodka, white wine, when you're adding it to a flame, it's gonna create a little bit of fire. That's okay. What you wanna do is you wanna get this going. What's, the alcohol is actually gonna burn out. It's gonna cook right through, the flame will go down. That's the indication that the alcohol's been, been literally cooked right through. Once it starts sizzling, boom, we call that flambe. As I'm turning it, you can see the alcohol has already been burned out. As you can see, the alcohol is literally cooked out. No more flame. And you can see this really, really rich color coming out when that Sambuca hit. Now what we're gonna do, simply get our heavy cream and add it to the pan. And the color is gonna really come out in this dish when you start mixing those heirloom cherry tomatoes with the cream. Now, if you're into spice, you could always add some pepperoncino, some hot peppers to this. For me, I'm just gonna keep it nice and light. I wanna really, really get that flavor of the fish. Once this comes to a complete boil, we're gonna lower the heat, get it on a simmer, that cream's gonna thicken up. All these flavors are gonna start combining. We have some Parmesan cheese, we have some fresh basil, we're gonna save that to the end. And now we're gonna get to the second part of the main event right here. These are these homemade lobster stuffed agnolotis. As this is starting to simmer, I've already blanched these off. I blanched them off because it's fresh pasta, only took a couple minutes, that's it. Blanch them off, put them on the side. What's gonna happen? You're gonna drop them in just like so, reduce the heat, and these are actually gonna come right back up to temperature. Be nice al dente. That's how I like to eat my pasta and just sort of mix it through the sauce, just like so. You can actually see the sauce starting to turn a little bit of rosé-ish from those tomatoes. We're gonna keep this on a simmer just for a couple minutes. All we wanna do is cook through and penetrate right down to that lobster meat so it's nice and hot. And we're gonna plate this beauty coming right up shortly. Now, when we're plating this pasta, obviously I like to use just a straight up pasta bowl. I would not use a flat plate when you're, when you're eating pasta, you're having anything with sauce in it, obviously. Look at the colors of this. The sauce is getting nice and thick, you can see as it stays on. That pasta is literally cooking through. Keep mixing it. Just like so. Right before we played it, fresh Parmigiano cheese, just like this. I'm gonna save a little bit for the garnish. Let's get that in there. This is gonna help actually thicken the sauce and add a really nice element of saltiness as well. Looks like our pasta is just about done. Gonna give it a little mix. Now, very important, don't have to use fresh pasta. You don't have to use lobster stuffed agnolotti. You can do this with penne. You can do this with linguine. You can do this with anything. You could throw mussels. You could throw shrimp. You could throw whatever you want in this dish. If I would have caught in a walleye, that would have been in this dish, period. But today, we got some beautiful halibut, and I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna complain about it. So, let's plate these up. We're gonna do them one at a time. Beautiful. Agnolotti, just like so. I wanna get those cherry tomatoes, all the chunks of halibut. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Get those colors going. We're gonna garnish some extra sauce. One more, here we go, just like so. Now, that's done. Presentation is everything. We're gonna wipe the rim of the plate. Okay, let this go all over Pete Bowman's face, not on the plate, okay? Fresh basil, so important. This is gonna bring the colors right out. Rough chop is fine, just on top like so. And this is gonna help bring out the color, the aroma. And last but not least, can't have pasta without cheese. 
just like so. I'm gonna tell you something right here. I might have got skunked on a lake, but I didn't get skunked in my house. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm telling you right now, you serve this at your next dinner party, how easy was that? Five minutes. I'll tell you right now, you're gonna look like a celebrity in your own house. I'm Chef Antonio, this is Fish Du Jour, and I'm telling you right now, it's that easy. Enjoy.